God, God's ble blessings be with you. We are honored to approach you today and remind you that in Morocco, there has been the establishment, uh, the first university in the world in the ninth century that was initiated by Fatima al fihriya and Sylvester Thain went to study the Sylvester II. Uh, between 900 and around 900 years AD, and the first uh, medical education was introduced in 2007. Ibn al-Baytar was there, and there was a rapporteur to take notes. And pertaining to the higher education in Morocco, there are two ministries, the Ministry of Scientific Research and the Ministry of National Education and Higher Education. We have 15 uh, public universities, uh, four private universities, and two universities within the framework of cooperation between public and private partnership. The number of the students uh, is uh, uh, five, uh, 516. 30,000 of which are in the private sector uh, and it is 100% free. University education is 100 free and now we seek to open cooperation between the private and public uh, sectors in all aspects and particularly that Morocco the public sector is is very specialized compared to the private. Uh, it is more elaborate. Why? Because the latter needs training. There is no fair formula between the certification between the two sectors. And this is just to say that we need more integration. Why? Because we should not favor uh, one public over the other. And if we empower the private sector, it will uh, give better added value and better output. And it will uh, be great because it has more versatility uh, to the needs of the public sector. A partnership, on the other hand, it will have uh, equation equity in certification once again we're talking 15 public universities and we're talking medicine faculties there are at least five and we are aiming for more two more in Tanja and Agadir the investment in the public education has been one point uh, uh, one more than one billion and we have openings uh, in order to teach uh, and this needs training of the cadre and the students the dilemma is 18 percent of institute graduates are going outside the country they're going to canada and france and others so we are losing them and uh, this uh, good number of our youths are seeking for employment outside Morocco while Morocco is in dire need for those uh, graduates and there is a gap and def deficit. Uh, we have 7,000 uh, uh, openings in engineering, architecture. We have a gap and a deficit in the required specializations and the reason goes uh, to the migration 
and in addition to many uh, foreign investment uh, in Morocco. Don't forget we are close to Europe and we have many investors from outside and now they are seeking placement in Morocco because uh, work labor is lower and logistics and transport is higher in comparison outside. That's why we are attracting European investment but given that we are only 12 kilometers away from Europe. Morocco today is also seeking to bring foreign universities because we have 52,000 students outside Morocco that are not finding specializations they seek. And now uh, we are seeking to match those uh, not to mention that we had uh, bilateral agreements to have French in colleges, Centre de Paris and uh, others, and uh, Paris Est on the level of archaeology, architecture, and uh, higher logistics specialization in addition to cooperation in medicine uh, between the universities inside. We are now uh, negotiating with Italy, bringing polytechnic uh, existence in Morocco or representation so that there will be a branch from the Italian Polytechnic inside Morocco now. We are aiming to make uh, uh, an attraction in Morocco uh, for higher education. We have so many African uh, students and unfortunately we were not able to meet demand from other countries and therefore we should focus more on research, scientific research, and this is a dilemma in all Arab countries, i.e. research and development, not on the level of the budget, but on the level of the output as well. Now there is French-Moroccan cooperation so that we will have representation in Morocco, uh, also the same from Canada, from ARS, so that there's going to be mutual research, scientific research conducted in Morocco uh, on, uh, on continuous basis and not only on the research but on the application side, looking into outputs from universities in Morocco and in the Arab world, knowing that the outputs of Arab universities in general are lacking and not matching to requirements. and. Um, and the, uh, we will miss the fast trains if we are slow unless we can attract uh, by lowering costs and attracting students. And in addition to the electrical car that is uh, going to be produced uh, in Germany, it will not find a place in Morocco if we don't uh, hurry up and uh, work accordingly to reach a level to attract uh, markets for those uh, products based on scientific research followed by production. This is our new visualization. And I think there is conviction on the European side that Morocco can be an outlet even for NATO. It looks upon security in the region, energy, and the environment. Uh, we said that in order to, uh, to train, uh, we can train people in security because there is conviction by Morocco that it can be a regional uh, training center for engineers and medicine on the level of the region. This is something we want to focus on. As for languages, you know, we have been colonized by France. Hence, we've oh, the first spoken language is French, but uh, now we have started with English on the level of a new university. This just opened. And there has been a lot of uh, uh, vision towards introducing further the English language. The field is open. 
والدولة ما أساس مساعدتها هي الأرض لأن تعرفون أن السعر As you know, now uh, the price of uh, properties right now uh, it's increasing uh, uh, daily on daily basis, uh, uh, which is provided by the country uh, for uh, uh, a period of time uh, can expand to 50 years. So, uh, scientific research between the uh, private sector and the public sector. But the institutions I talked about uh, for private uh, universities, there are uh, hundreds of institutions. When I talk about a university, there's a lot of uh, specialties uh, and institutions. Uh, the private uh, sector is uh, expanded across uh, the nation in Morocco, and uh, it's uh, reachable and accessible. Uh, the government is controlling uh, the public aspect of it, and there's a lot of... Uh, uh, contracting, it's been conducted by the country, which uh, uh, meet all the needs uh, for this aspect. And special, uh, and special, and special uh, needs like uh, medical, like engineering and uh, architecture. Uh, there's another uh, specialties which is supposed to be developed in our countries. As you all know, uh, we're about uh, to explore the gas uh, extracting from uh, rocks. Uh, those rich fields would like to, we're imploring all the investors, uh, we'd like to implore them and attract all the investors to come to Morocco. Thank you so much and peace and blessings be upon you. Thank you so much.